from outside Shame on Woodside! and within. Woodside's being pushed to do more to address its climate impact. They need to get with other companies around the world that are getting serious about solving the climate problems and that means renewables, not gas. The oil and gas giant says it's held more than 100 meetings over the last year to improve its climate action plan and is on track to meet its emissions targets, which will see a 15% reduction by the end of the decade and the company reach net zero by 2050. The heart of this strategy recognises that the world must respond to the challenge of climate change by changing our energy system. And we intend to be part of the solution. Woodside says its gas, including from the Scarborough project it's building off the Pilbara coast, is a key part of that solution, despite experts calling for no new gas projects to limit the effects of climate change. We want to thrive through the energy transition. Um, we want to help our customers decarbonise. We believe that um, climate change is real, uh, but we want to do it in a measured way. The company's focus on using gas as a transition fuel shared by the state government. People need to be cognizant of all those things, not simply sticking to a simplistic notion that we can just somehow turn off the taps and everything will be fine. It won't. Despite a push by some to remove him, Chair Richard Goiter was re-elected, albeit with a 17% vote against him. The bigger pushback on the company's climate plan, though, with 58% voting it down. Naturally, we're disappointed, but respect the result. We'll reflect on the vote that we had today. Um, we'll engage with our core shareholders and understand more from them. Activists have been campaigning with messages like this for years, but they hope having more shareholders on side might result in faster change. They need to start acting on climate change. Um, investors are, are, are losing their patience for companies that cannot find an alternative other than to continue developing fossil fuels. A potential warning for the rest of the corporate world as Woodside promises to consult more on its future plans. Ken Burke, ABC News.